Hi, this is Nick from Loviserve, and today I'm going to show you how to clean your Ava X8. Alright, so um, what you're going to be doing on a regular basis, obviously depending on how long you run the machine and if you've got pets, um, is going to be the normal sort of dustbin. Okay, um, you're going to basically just be, oh, there we go, <laughs> one bit slippery. So, yeah, you're going to basically just clean the, that middle section. You see, this is a working machine, um, so you're just basically going to take out the hair and the dust. Um, it's also a good idea, you know, to get your hair dryer, um, maybe once every so often, just to kind of um, you know, get all the dust that's sort of sitting in all the, the smaller you know, spaces and little uh, crevices um, in the actual dustbin unit. Okay, so uh, that's the normal one that you're probably doing weekly. Um, then, in terms of uh, cleaning the HEPA filter, okay, and replacing it, so this is the HEPA filter. Um, you can, once again, use your uh, hair dryer to, to clean it, so um, that's one thing that you can do there. The other filter is this one underneath, okay. Uh, this you can actually run under water. Okay, so filter you can't run under water. Uh, this piece you can, um, and the only thing is just be very careful with it. It's quite delicate, and when you've finished cleaning it, you want to let it dry completely before putting it back in the machine. Okay, so that's the two filters. Okay, I'm going to put them back in the machine. Now, when you turn the machine over, I always suggest just to turn it off. Okay. It's normally easier if you're sitting down because um, the uh, the laser heat unit uh, will become a bit of a problem if you're sitting it uh, on a table. So I'll well, put it between your legs um, and, and you know, clean it this way. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take off your front sweepers. So hold all three sort of ends and then pull it out. Okay, if you pull out one end, it's going to uh, possibly uh, damage the, um, the shaft piece here. Okay, and then you're just going to basically um, pulling out all the hairs. Okay, once you've done that, you're going to put it back. Okay, um, for the interest of not making this uh, too long, I'm just going to give you the basics. I'm not going to fully clean it, um, but uh, just to give you an idea. Okay, once again, I was holding all three. When I pull this out, pull out all the hairs, they get stuck to the table in there. Okay, and then push it back in. Remember, left on the left side and right on the right side. Okay, um, you can get a, a wet wipe and just uh, clean the UV um, light. Okay, and then in terms of cleaning the middle roller, uh, you can use the this piece that uh, it comes with, the cleaning tool. Uh, just to run you through the cleaning tool, uh, it's got obviously a green brush, which you kind of just uh, use to, to clean up a bit of dust. It's got a small blade. Um, on the uh, on the side here, so you know, let's just sort of show you a practical example. To pull this out, you basically be pushing on the two uh, ends at the back. Let's just show you again there. So these two pieces here, you're just going to be pushing them and then pulling uh, this piece out here, okay? And then the roller, you're going to pull out your round end first, uh, the square end second, and then you're going to actually use that blade and then you're going to run through. So let's just say you've got some some long hairs um, or pieces of carpet, so if you've got a shaky carpet, uh, it might get uh, stuck on the roller. So you're actually going to just take that blade and just run it across. Uh, and it's just going to cut them, so you can then use the grab end the tools just to pull that out. Okay, all right, so that's just a, a bit of a run on the tool itself. Uh, the middle roller, um, yeah, I mean, you can you can use a wet cloth if you want uh, just to sort of clean the middle uh, rubber piece, okay, between the uh, the brush uh, ends. So um, you can do that, and then I just I wouldn't suggest running this uh, under water, okay, but a wet cloth would be fine. Okay, and then um, when you've done that, you can also get a hairdryer running on the cold and just blast out all of the uh, residue dust. Then putting it back, just make sure you don't uh, switch the ends on. So put the square end in first. Okay, and then the round end a bit snug. And then you can just push it back, make sure it's in properly. Um, this piece, this yellow piece here, let me just take it out to show you. I would also just do the cloth. Uh, I just these screws and these two uh, steel pieces will possibly end up rusting over time uh, if you run this under water. So once again, just use a cloth. It's probably just going to be the easiest way to do it. Okay, so that's the center piece, um, the center roller. Okay, um, let me just show you the mopping unit. Okay, so the uh, mopping unit, I'll show you underneath first. So um, it's got the mat that you can just take off uh, and, uh, and clean in lukewarm water on the delicate cycle of your washing machine. Okay, put that back correctly. Yeah. All right, you can put it back on uh, when it's slightly damp, it's not a problem, obviously. Okay, then in terms of emptying water, uh, when you're not going to use it, let's just say you're going away for a while, uh, just leave the cap open so that it, uh, you know, it doesn't, there's no mold or anything like that's going on the inside, uh, you know, where um, the water goes. So yeah, just leave that cap open then. Uh, but obviously, if you've filled it up and you've got water in, um, just close it properly. I normally wouldn't suggest that you leave this unit uh, full of water uh, and you've got a, a wooden floor. Um, they say that it, it shouldn't leak. I just, you know, the, the cloth is going to be damp. Uh, so, you know, I just don't know that that's really good for a wooden floor. Okay, then uh, in terms of the back, like the dustbin, uh, it's also got uh, the centerpiece. Uh, it's not sucking into this uh, center uh, area here. It's just going to be sweeping it up as it's, uh, as it's doing the mopping. All right, so uh, that is the, the mopping unit. 
I'm very excited to say that uh, I'm waiting for the new Ava handhold cordless vacuum. So yeah, that should come in the next sort of uh, two weeks, I think. And I'll be yeah, doing an unboxing and showing you that in a minute. All right, great. Thank you very much. Have a good one. Cheers.